So the Crown Oaks is next. This is a mile and a half for the three year old fillies. A group one, of course, at the top. Klosch Bambale for David Robertson, Mistress of the Baltic, Leon van Rensburg, Persuasive Rose and Ray Bands for Craig Allen, Shimna Camellia for Dan Hughes, Sweet Tooth, Joshua Sutherland and Winthorpe Harbour for Darren Thompson. And that was the favourite. Seven of them then installed and ready to go. And away they go. A little bit slow to go was Klosch Bambale, but nothing of any great seriousness as they sort themselves out through the first furlong or so nothing seems to be grabbing the lead nothing's all that keen to go on it would seem they've passed the winning post they've got a full circuit now of the track to go and there's a line of about six of them sharing the lead but now it's mistress of the baltic who's gone on i'm gonna try and get across to the fence as well and manages to do so sweet tooth is just about second but staying wide on the track closh bambale is third then Persuasive Rose after that one. Winthorpe Harbour next, then the Grey Shimna Camellia. And the second of the Craig Allen horses closest to us is Ray Bands. They're already down towards the final mile of this one. And Mistress of the Baltic has been given an easy lead. Klosh Bambale is in second. Sweet Tooth is in third. Then Persuasive Rose and Ray Bands, the stable companions, running in a similar position. And the Grey Shimna Camellia on the inside of. Winthorpe Harbour for Darren Thompson. Still three behind Vinnie Gerrard looking to close that gap. With his mistress of the Baltic. Clear in front. Cloche well, Bambale and Ray Bands. Then Sweet Teeth. Winthorpe Harbour is next. And then Persuasive Rose. Then Shimna Camellia. It's now switched to the outside. And the mistress of the Baltic is still bowling along nicely in the lead. Sweet Tooth now being driven up to challenge the first one to throw down the gauntlets and Mistress of the Baltic and sweeps by but Mistress of the Baltic immediately fights back. Here comes Winthorpe Harbour for Darren Thompson. Klosh Bambale is in fourth, then Persuasive Rose, Ray Bands and Shimna Camellia have been taken off their feet at the back but Mistress of the Baltic has got back into the lead. Sweet Tooth is trying to battle back then Winthorpe Harbour and Klosh Bambale. Persuasive Rose around the outside as Ray Bands and Shimna Camellia now start to run on but Mistress of the Baltic is still in front and kicks on again two lengths clear with just over two furlongs to go it's mistress of the baltic in the lead from sweet tooth winthorpe harbour cloche bambale on the inside then persuasive rose and ray bands there's a furlong and a half left and it's still mistress of the baltic they're queued up behind to take it on but mistress of the baltic is still hanging on a furlong to go mistress of the baltic is now about to be swamped persuasive rose cloche bambale winthorpe harbour three in the middle line persuasive rose and cloche bambale it's persuasive rose just and persuasive rose is just hanging on i think persuasive rose cloche bambale Ray Bands, Winthorpe Arbor, Shimna Camellia, Mistress of the Baltic ended up last of a lot of them and they finished in a heap which normally suggests they're not that good if they finish that close together but I don't think that's quite the case but Persuasive Rose has taken it by the shortest of short heads. Persuasive Rose is the winner for Craig Allen, Klosh Bambale for David Robertson second, Winthorpe Harbor, Darren Thompson third, Ray Bands, Craig Allen fourth, Shimna Camellia or Dan Hughes was fourth, was fifth, sorry.